what's up everybody welcome back to exotic as logic again and today we shall discuss on the most awaited <laughs> event of this year saturn retrograde in the sign of sagittarius is this recording yes 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 all right so saturn is now in the sign of sagittarius from so long <laughs> october last year and now very soon 18th of april it is going to turn retrograde and then on september 6th this year it is again going to turn direct all right so what is going to happen oh my god there's a lot of fear mongering saturn retrograde all right so we will discuss that and we will discuss on the transition of saturn from Ma, the nakshatra of jeshtha through the nakshatra of mula to the nakshatra of purvashada and from there again going back to mula nakshatra and then again when saturn moves towards purvashada again yes so there's a lot of back and forth motion so saturn was in the karmic sign of scorpio from last 3 4 years yes so a lot of fear mongering yes uh, that was going on from so many days from so many years there's this cloud of fear which is there oh my god this will happen the governments will ruin us this will happen that person will come this will go now finally january last year it entered sagittarius 26 january 2017 and then again it went retrograde and then again <laughs> october last year it came into sagittarius so from now it has been in sagittarius and recently it has crossed the most uh, exciting nakshatra of the zodiac belt <laughs> exciting because there's there's a lot of um, homework which is to be done in this nakshatra which is the nakshatra of mula so now it is in purvashara nakshatra so what i would request to you is if you have not watched my video on uh, mars through uh, uh, which i uploaded yesterday uh, transit of mars from jeshtha to mula nakshatra then please watch that all right so that will also give you a better understanding of what jeshtha nakshatra is why, why why is it in scorpio then what mula nakshatra is and why is mula in the sign of sagittarius why not in any other sign all right so there you go if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it before saturn goes retrograde <laughs> and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website and the description is there uh, in i mean the link is there below in the description and that's it if you like this video share it with somebody who is interested to know oh my god my saturn is going retrograde no no no, no not yours not mine everybody saturn is going retrograde all right and yes, before uh, I begin, as I always say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. But today I will say something else also, which is yesterday night I uh, did a recording with uh, the great, the most famous James Braha, sir. Uh, and uh, it was mind boggling. I mean, some things which he said, like, for example, he said, what happens when a person has an afflicted ninth house <laughs> and when i heard the re the answer i was like my god this is so spot on this is like this is this is bang on what he said na? and then another thing he said uh, that if suppose somebody has a great marriage or a great career but if there is some problem in this area whatever the person has the person will never be happy and if the problem if the person has uh, goodness in that area and if everything else is terrible the person will still be happy in life yes so when i heard it i was like my god this is like this is spot on this is like hitting the bullseye and uh, in my mind i was calculating so many charts my god so and then uh, he's uh, said how different uh, spiritual orientations can come into people which kind of uh, practices uh, people could like spiritually yes so all those things he said and then uh, at the end he gives a description of houses so it's a very long video one hour 22 minutes so it's almost one and a half hours so amazing so many things he said and from 30 years of his experience the 20 30 40 years of his experience he's written so many books and so i'll be uploading that video on friday so i hope everybody will like it which i have no doubt so stay tuned till friday uh, and i'll be interviewing krishna guruji again very soon and i'll also be interviewing nitin kashyapji so he will be going to some seminar on 7th of april and 8th and after that 
he will be speaking on importance of degrees yes 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 importance of degrees nitin kashyap ji will be speaking on that then on 18th april i'll be interviewing a uh, miss janet yes i don't know how they pronounce that name is it janet or yanet so she will be speaking on ayurveda some basic principles of ayurveda and heidi vandenberg also said that she will be coming on april although the date is not finalized the topic is not finalized all right and there's another uh, astrologer from iran his name is asan so he also gave confirmation that in april he will be doing a session with me and yes i also had requested uh, ernst wilhelm yes 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 the big man ernst wilhelm i had requested him for a joint session and he had also given confirmation but then he mailed me that that uh, he injured himself due to some reason and because of that he uh, will not be able to come now but the moment he cures himself he will be coming okay so many people are lined up but i will not be uploading them at a stretch uh, i will be uploading them slowly over one week i mean first in one weekend i'll be uploading one video and then the other video in the next weekend so that you can keep getting every flavor every uh, new weekend all right so that is it so now what's the topic of today today's topic is retrograde saturn yes so basically what does saturn represent saturn represents all the hard things in life <laughs> which we have to work very hard for to get in life yes that is why it is the significator of the 10th house of labor and 11th house of income yes work and income are very 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 difficult and it is the significator of the 6th house and also the 8th house yes 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 which means that the house is 6th house 8th house 12th house these are dusthanas so these houses are giving us difficulties in life struggles delays disappointments setbacks hard work pain perseverance tenacity all those things which these houses represent that is what saturn is and functionally it is the 10th lord and the 11th lord of the kal purush kundli of the aries ascendant now when saturn goes retrograde what happens it shows that re- what what's retrograde planet basically i spoke about this in my video which i had done on the last weekend on jupiter retrograde but now i will specifically speak on it retrograde planet basically you think like that you are going to the market yes you want to buy an iphone x <laughs> so you open your door and you go yes 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 i'll purchase the iphone x now 1200 1300 euros yes but then you sit in the car and you are going and suddenly you realize oh my god i didn't bring the wallet <laughs> what will happen that time what's happening exactly at that time you are getting a jerk ta yes <laughs> and then what happens you shoo, you stop the vehicle i mean assuming you are driving it and then what do you do you take a u turn right and when you are taking a u turn what's happening there's a very strong force inside you which is telling you wallet 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 <laughs> that means when you are coming back you have nothing in your head other than the word wallet right because that has changed the entire trajectory of your course of journey you're going front now not only you stopped you came back that means now you will go to your home you will take the wallet and then you can do something else also suppose when you come home you take the wallet but suppose you realized oh i didn't take my mobile also <laughs> yes can happen sometimes or i did not switch off these lights so then what happens not only you take the wallet which was your most important reason for why you came but now you will also switch off the light and the mobile and do some other things which you had also missed apart from that reason for which you come came came to take that uh, for which you came back to the home right so that means whenever a planet goes retrograde we revisit those areas which saturn is ruling in our chart yes whichever house is saturn is ruling if you are a scorpio ascendant saturn rules your third house and your fourth house 
so it can happen that your sister or your uh, brother because third house is the house of your younger siblings right so your younger sister or your younger brother or your mother the fourth house or something pertaining to your creative efforts which is the third house and fourth house represents education or anything that you are learning any sort of learning is seen from the fourth house fifth house is the house of intelligence of course but any form of learning like schools universities libraries all those things are seen from the fourth house yes so you may revisit those things yes so for example if you are a scorpio ascendant and you are studying something suppose and then now you realize that due to some reason or the other you are not able to clear the subject so now you will revisit revisit doesn't mean uh, you will fail or you will get a backlog it means that you will now try to change things pertaining to houses of your education because the mool trigon sign aquarius is in your fourth house so if you are a aquarius lagna if you are aquarius rising itself then this is very 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 important time for you because now your lagna lord itself is going retrograde yes now planets can go retrograde but it will depend on the flavor of the nature of the planet so whenever jupiter goes retrograde it is different from saturn becoming retrograde because jupiter represents our philosophical ability to understand the higher realm anything which is above this realm yes that is why Ju jupiter is the significator of the ninth house it rules the original sign number 9 which is sagittarius sagittarius represents anything which is above this world yes but when saturn goes retrograde it is way 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 different from when jupiter goes retrograde so when saturn goes retrograde we rather than focusing on things above this world yes we can focus more on what are the things of this world now this does not mean that we do not focus on spirituality i am not saying that when i say above and low i am not meaning spirituality or materialistic things here when i say above and low it means that jupiter retrograde can give us a change in our thinking and saturn retrograde can give us a change in our thing uh, change in our actions so even if you are a monk or a celibate who is living in a temple for you also if saturn goes retrograde you may focus on implementing these spiritual principles more strongly yes whichever houses saturn rules or whatever saturn is signifying in your chart even if you are a married person you are a householder then now also you will be fo more focused towards your family or your work because you have to work you have to maintain your family right so then you will be focusing on those areas on a more practical level like a monk who will be focusing on his spirituality on a practical level yes so jupiter is also retrograde and saturn is also retrograde so now what's happening in this sky is both the planets of higher thinking yes and practical application both the planets are retrograde so now basically what's happening is now if you talk of saturn here you will realize that if some activities pertaining to the rulership of the houses of saturn which you are doing was not working now you will either change it or you will do it more seriously because imagine when you are coming back from the road when you won the wallet that thing about the wallet is very strong in your head yes so whichever houses saturn is ruling in your chart those houses will become very prominent now when saturn goes retrograde yes and you will now be wanting to solve the issues which are there in that house yes so suppose you <coughs> you are a taurus ascendant suppose then what happens saturn rules your 9th house and your 10th house yes then matters pertaining to the 9th house which is what religion spirituality yes and matters pertaining to your 10th house which is what career and all this all those things you will want to do things more practically now yes so suppose you had this idea in your mind oh which guru should i visit should i go to this guru or that guru now you'll be like do hell with it man i'm going to one guru now <laughs> instead of thinking 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 oh should i go here should i go there you are like okay let me start with something yes maybe i go to this temple and i start something maybe i go to that temple and i start chanting some mantras whatever it is so 
the point is you will revisit those areas and you will check so now suppose you have made certain progress yes so if you are a scorpio ascendant and saturn rules your fourth house then you made certain progress in your education but now when saturn is going retrograde you will think oh did i make that much progress that i wanted suppose you are preparing for an exam yes then you may you might want to revisit your strategy which you are taking for this exam yes suppose there is a deadline coming in another one month two month three month four months then although you have made progress you will still revisit and you will see oh i was studying more in the morning i was studying more in the evening but did that help me or should i change something because retrogression means instability and why there is instability because there is a need for change change is the word when you hear the word retrogression and james brasser also explained retrogression means passive yes which means it depends on your free will yes what you want to change or how you want to take it ahead yes so for example anyways let, let i will let you hear his lecture so that you understand what more retrogression is so that is what i wanted to say so now what's happening is jupiter saturn both are retrograde so not only we are not only are we thinking on a abstract level we are also implementing things differently yes so whichever house is saturn is ruling in your chart take a note of it and also you take a note of is saturn retrograde originally in your birth chart yes because if originally something is retrograde and now in transit when again saturn becomes retrograde it means the original retrogression is activated 10 times more now yes so suppose you are a taurus lagna and your saturn is retrograde in your original birth chart yes because now in transit it's going to be retrograde for everybody so then what happens is some very strong karma is there pertaining to the 9th house and the 10th house which you might have done or we, we i mean since the time you are born you might have not done and now depending on the dasha and the current transits in your horoscope because saturn is retrograde you might get an opportunity to do those things pertaining to the 9th house and the 10th house very strongly yes so that becomes very important similarly if you are a capricorn ascendant then saturn rules your lagna and your second house wealth income finances <laughs> money sustenance seventh second house is known as the house of hari it is the house where lord vishnu puts food in your mouth because if he doesn't put food then where will you how will you sustain right so your sustenance will get on your head now yes which means if if you are just hovering around the plane okay studying or maybe doing a job now you're like bang on my lagnesh and my second lord both are going right to get so not only am i taking a reality check of everything which is there in my life which means the lagna lord which shows where our energy is going where our energy is focusing not only that is retrograde my sustenance is also becoming uh, retrograde it's like we are thinking how to sustain ourselves <laughs> and whichever house saturn is transiting which means whichever house sagittarius is falling in your chart those that house uh, you will have the retrogression of those rulerships pertaining to that house where sagittarius is yes so for example as i said if you are a capricorn ascendant now sagittarius is in your 12th house yes that means this this retrogression is happening in the 12th house of loss seclusion loneliness yes it is happening in the 12th house of foreign lands so it can happen that you come back from foreign yes because lagna lord is you and when is going retrograde in the 12th house it can happen i have seen that people returning from foreign lands to their country like india pakistan or anywhere or if somebody is staying in india from some years then they can go back to usa or canada that can happen or you may uh, feel uh, or you may feel that oh there is some reason or the other why i am feeling very lonely because 12th house is the house of loneliness right so then you might want to introspect what the what the what the hell is going wrong in my life why do i feel so lonely because there is a difference between alone and lonely right alone means nobody is around you lonely means you are feeling bad when you are alone yes <laughs> so you may feel that 
oh now i am living lonely here i am feeling lonely now i will not stay lonely i will do things which give me fulfillment because see 12th house is a very important house because it shows your it is the 12th from the lagna which means anything which takes you away from this world yes that's the that's the 12th house which means you will want to take a reality check on why your life is giving you loneliness because when the lagna lord transits in the 12th house yes it can happen that you are wasting so much of your time money energy and efforts in useless things which you should not do yes you are because see whichever planet is in the 12th house that will give you expenses not uh, monetary wise every way, every way your mental energy your physical everything is uh, it is giving you expenses so now when lagna lord is there in the 12th house it shows that you yourself are giving you uh, uh, this expenses to yourself yes so suppose, suppose venus is in the 12th your wife can end up giving you uh, too many uh, expenses suppose your seventh lord is there mars suppose or moon who whichever ascendant you are if that is there in the 12th house then it can happen that your partner they are giving suppose second lord is there it can happen that your family is giving you expenses too many expenses yes so now if you were acting like a uh, if you were like parting all the time saturn in the 12th house transit yes i mean if that will happen only if you are a capricorn ascendant then you will now want to stop and you will want to introspect why i am doing this party why am i going and drinking alcohol why am i going and wasting time with this people with with the with the people of my same gender or maybe with the opposite sex yes 12th house is also affairs <laughs> so why am i doing that has my life become so bad that i have to keep escaping all the time going to all these parties night clubs yes and wasting money drinking alcohol wasting my power all the time why am i doing it let me create a life of fulfillment let me create a life which gives me happiness let me do something which i like other than going to all this nonsensical parties yes rather than behaving like dogs let's behave like humans yes because that's dog life going to the parties drinking alcohol touching the bodies of the opposite sex indulging in those things anyways change the topic <laughs> so you may want to become a civilized human from this dog life uh, this dog like mentality which you which um, you might have inside yes or it can be anything you might think that oh i will do a great career in the foreign lands but now you may feel oh it's not working let me go back to india now yes or pakistan or wherever it is so it will depend on so many things and now if your saturn is originally retrograde yes suppose you are a aquarius rising then now your saturn is in the 11th house then now you will be very much geared towards your daily income because 11th house shows your daily income so now you may think oh i'm not getting a job i need to do something seriously yes because it is also your lagna lord and it is also your 12th lord so now the 12th lord is also going retrograde it is happening in the 11th house which means that you may see where you are doing expenses because of which you are not able to save your money or who is causing you losing your income because 11 12 when they are linked that can show this loss of income or income from expenses or something like that <laughs> it's a very peculiar state now 11th lord in the 12th or 12th lord in the 11th these dynamics can come yes so similarly if you are a libra ascendant yes then your fourth lord and fifth lord that is going retrograde so something pertaining to education or children or your creativity fifth house shows creative pursuits so now what's happening is saturn was in scorpio in jeshtha nakshatra and then as i said in my mars video earlier jeshtha represents those things which we try to prove to this to the world right <laughs> so it means we were trying to do so many things to show that we are like indra indra is what who the king of the heavens yes because indra is representing that nakshatra that story is there of ahilya and gautam rishi's curse so that means when saturn was in the nakshatra of jeshtha one two years back so then all those traits were very prominent and last year it again went retrograde and then finally it entered mula nakshatra which is what as i explained in my video for mars transit that 
we now understand that there are some things which we cannot do yes and some things which we need to do to change the way things are and then when we come to mula nakshatra then we try to make grounds yes plant new things because the word mula comes from uh, that mul tattva which is the original element yes and as i said in my earlier video why is mula nakshatra in sagittarius why is it not in any other uh, zodiac sign because it is expected that whenever we build foundations we build it on spirituality because sagittarius is the original ninth house yes so that is what uh, parashara is telling us or the scriptures or whatever you call it <laughs> that whenever you are building foundations make sure it is on spirituality it's grounded on your divine principles your connections with your gurus your gods and all those higher elements and now after we made our grounds depending on which of our houses saturn rules in the chart now saturn has entered the nakshatra of purva shada yes so purva shada is the second nakshatra after mula and purva shada is what basically it represents all those traits of sagittarius which are beautiful i am not going into the details it it has this dt that that you, that i will make in separate video when i start the nakshatra series that you can find in google also but i am telling you exactly what purva shada is purva shada has so many meanings but now what i will tell you is pertaining to the connection from mula to purva shada which means in mula we make our foundations very strong yes and now when it comes to purva shada we gain hope because we see some changes in ourselves <laughs> yes so you might have observed that in last 2 3 in last 2 months especially when saturn had crossed mula nakshatra and gone to purva shada you have felt that something which i wanted to do got completed i have felt this and so many other people also who have uh, some prominent where where saturn who have those ascendants where saturn is ruling some prominent houses that they have said that oh yes 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 matters pertaining to these things came into completion completion doesn't mean that thing got finished totally but it means that now we made some solid grounds on that but now not only did we make grounds we need to get hope also right all the divine qualities of sagittarius hope because that is also ruled by venus where which gets exalted in pisces so venus is the ruler of the purva shada nakshatra planetary wise yes so it shows that now after we have built our foundations we become hopeful and we try to see the horizon we broaden our horizon because mula nakshatra is very specific it is like do this now don't see here there just do this now but purva shada is like okay man <laughs> now i have come out of this purification yes now i can see what things are as it is yes not that in mula you can't see but in purva shada you can see it in a much better way yes and then you become very hopeful of those things which you did in mula nakshatra during the time from october till now yes because when you are still in mula you can have this self doubt oh will this happen will that happen am i going right am i going wrong yes but when you enter purva shada you see oh now my ground is ready now i can be hopeful now i can be more positive so whichever house is saturn is ruling now is a very good time to be happy regarding those houses because you will definitely see some major improvements in those areas yes and now on 18th april saturn will again start the retrogression yes and then again it will come back to mula nakshatra in a few months and on september 6th it will again stop and start going forward from mula to purva shada so during this retrogression you will experience that whichever house a saturn is ruling in your chart from there although we went into purva shada but there can be times when we again need to revisit yes again we need to go back to mula nakshatra to check our foundations and then as i said when you come back to take the wallet maybe you switch uh, you take the phone or you switch off the lights also then you will realize when you come back to mula 
and from September 6th when you go ahead again yes from Mula again you go to Purvasana then you will realize that oh there are so many other things which I did not do properly when Saturn was in Mula yes because when a planet is direct we are like oh do whatever it takes do it do it do it do it but when it's retrograde we are very active it's like there's a lot of adrenaline rush yes then we not only do what we came to do we will do so many other things also yes so that is how you see what it is so if you are for example suppose you are a sagittarius lagna then your second lord and third lord is going retrograde yes so if you are in youtube <laughs> probably you will think that oh now i need to start again yes and that will happen very soon because uh, i mean not for everybody but one of my friend uh, he recently started a channel in youtube and he's a sagittarius rising so he will be uh, starting it again from april and there you see this is so true this is so 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 true so that is what is the meaning of retrogression and there are so many things which i can go on and on and on speaking so the fact of the matter is now saturn is in purvashada it's a very good time and then it will go retrograde then we'll become more introspective and we'll check off the things which we were doing and then when it enters mula we will again focus on the foundations and you will realize that there are some things which you did not do yes so suppose saturn is your 10th lord suppose then you will realize that something pertaining to your career which you did properly but there were still some problems some things you did not do properly when saturn was in mular till now from october and now when saturn goes direct on september 6th ahead from mula nakshatra then you are like okay i will fix these things also so it's a very good time for introspection and if you feel that this transit is happening in a dusthana yes which means if saturn is in 6th house 8th house or 12th house yes then it is important that we take precautions pertaining uh, to those houses yes especially if saturn's transiting your 8th house yes or even also the 12th house okay capricorn ascendants need to be very careful because you can incur some unnecessary losses during this time yes and whatever whichever ascendant you are <laughs> that's not important but what i am saying is do proper meditation stay connected to yourself and then you will realize that this transit will be very good because ultimately this transit is happening in the sign of sagittarius which is the sign of divine hope divine enlightenment yes so saturn is the original 10th lord and sagittarius is the original 9th house so 10th lord in the 9th you can consider it like that it's a beautiful placement yes so now we will become very hopeful in taking action pertaining to those areas which saturn rules in our chart all right so that is it from my side it has been a very long video as usual <laughs> and if you like this video then click the thumbs up and share it with those people who want to know what's going to be the effects of retrograde saturn in the year 2018 all right and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website the link is there in the description below and before i end the video on saturn i would say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him yes until next time wish you good luck and tomorrow i'll be making the video on mars and saturn's conjunction in purvashada all right tomorrow maybe day after let's see <laughs> bye bye see you